boys, today we're going to look at a context and overview of home by Miriam Wei Wei Lo. This is a really interesting, complex, beautiful poem about what it means to be home or to have a home when you have lived in different countries all over the world and you have a, a mixed heritage and don't feel like you have a home with either heritage that you have. So it's really important in this poem to understand the poet's con context. So Miriam Weiwei Lo was born in Canada in 1973. She was raised and educated in Singapore and then she moved to Australia in 1993. She is Chinese Malaysian on her father's side and Anglo-Australian descent on her mother's side. She married a Baptist pastor and she's very involved in church life. She edits his sermons and she plays the piano in church. Through her poetry, she explores concepts of family, home and heritage. Now for an overview of the poem. So the first section of the poem is about imagining what home is. And she gives this concept of home these sort of mysterious qualities. Then um, it's also about the conflict and contrast between the East and West. So the homeland of her father, um, where she grew up in Singapore, also compared to her home in the present, living in Australia. She also looks at the connection between culture, religion and the concept of home in this first section of the poem. The second section of the poem is really about the conflict or contrast between Western religion and Eastern culture. And um, there's, there's some pain that comes through in this paragraph as well as some very positive things. Um, so the question that Lowe seems to be asking in this section of the poem is, is embracing Christianity turning away from Eastern culture? The third section of the poem is about the reality of the concept of home in Australia, living in Australia and the suburban life. Um, she has her children there and her children naturally belong in this world. Thinking of this place as home is just so easy for them. She also looks again at the contrast between East and West, this time in terms of poverty and prosperity. In the ending of the poem, she shows optimism, this foreigner flourishing in a new home through this um, symbolism of the plants. But is the past being left behind if you're embracing the, um, the optimism of this um, flourishing in a new home? So th this is the first of four videos and in the other videos we'll be looking at stanza by stanza analysis of the poems. If you'd like more information on Lowe, there's a lot available on the internet. There's some interviews, um, some articles, so just do a little bit of research. Thank you for listening.